Hi, I'm Rachel Meliotis, a senior editor at O'Reilly Media, and I am here with Jay Parikh. He is a vice president of infrastructure at Facebook. Thank you for joining me. Thank you. So tell me about the Open Compute project. Yeah, so we started Open Compute about two years ago. Um, and what we decided to do was we were faced with having to build up our infrastructure to scale with um, more and more users doing more and more stuff on Facebook. So what we decided to do was start to look at the data center, look at the servers, and start working on um, designing and building the stuff our own because we couldn't get what we needed from the market. Um, as part of that, though, we realized that there would be um, a, pretty a pretty big opportunity to open this up and to take a lot of the motivations and sort of inspiration behind open source software and to apply it to designing and building hardware. Mm -hmm. So essentially, Open Compute uh, Project has been around for two years and it takes its um, kind of inspiration from open source software but applies it to data center design, server design, storage, and now networking um, infrastructure. So uh, you decided on open source hardware because you saw how well it worked with open source software, is that correct? Yes, and we wanted to make sure that we could basically uh, share our ideas with the community, that we could build a community, the, idea, the community could benefit, we could yeah. all benefit, grow, and basically help each other out instead of what was in the past, you know, a very, very sort of closed industry, right? Um, and, and, and we thought that, hey, because of all the benefits and the pace of innovation that happens because of open source software, why can't that be true with hardware and with data centers? And that's, you know, what's born to, to kind of play out here is that over the last two years now we have 60 companies involved. Mm -hmm. We have dozens of technical contributions from these companies back into Open Compute. We had our engine, uh, Open Compute Summit back in January and there was 1,500 attendees oh, to wow. the conference, right? So it's uh, now actually not just a Facebook um, majority-led thing. It's like we are a major part of it, but there are a lot of other activities and a lot of other companies and other projects happening in Open Compute now. That so it's really, really cool to see this take shape just like open source software projects did. That's really fantastic. So what have been some of your greatest triumphs so far? I think uh, a couple of the you know big triumphs for us, I think, were one is obviously launching the project and being able to contribute the three core designs around the data center, the server, um, and also the power management systems that go into Facebook's mm -hmm. data centers. And we are 38% more energy efficient and 24. Uh, we've lowered our cost by 24% compared to a leased facility. Uh -huh. So that was the seed of it, and I feel like that was a really, really good start of the program. I think other things I'm really proud of and the team's really proud of is the Open Compute Summit that we had in January. We had 1,500 attendees there, right? And as I was looking and walking around the expo hall there, uh, just in one year, it was phenomenal to see how much actual stuff was built. You know, it wasn't just posters and brochureware anymore. Right. It was like stuff you could touch, poke, that was, you know, blinking with lights and actually working. So the stuff is being built, it's being used, it's being deployed um, in production infrastructures these days. And are you going to have another summit next year? Yeah, we have another summit, I think, coming up in January. So it's an annual summit that we oh, have. Fun. Right. Okay. The other thing that I would say is probably last uh, bit there is we actually deployed 100% OCP hardware hardware in our Lulio Sweden data center. So we just launched that data center a couple of months ago, mm -hmm. and all of the servers and the data center design itself is 100% OCP. Wow. So if a company or an individual wants to get involved, how do they go about doing that? You know, there are uh, dozens of projects happening in the uh, in the project right now. So I uh, encourage you to check out open, opencompute.org, get involved in any of the working groups, look at the specs. Um, there's lots of different companies doing different things. Um, so you can get involved, you can buy, test uh, all of this gear. Um, so start on the website and start asking oh. questions and start you know participating that way. So final question, what do you see as the future for the project? You know, I think the future for the product uh, for the project is really to just increase adoption, right? We want to get more and more um, companies involved. There's, we're only getting started when it comes to tackling the challenges of building the scale, uh, building out technologies to scale data center infrastructure. Um, you know, we've got work going on the data center, the servers, now the networking side, storage, um, different types of uh, storage devices, flash, you know, all that stuff. So there's just a lot of stuff to do. We've just gotten started. That is fantastic. Thank you so much for joining me, Thank and you. good luck with the project in the Thank future. Thank you, Rachel.